The item that I chose to go with is going to be a simple cornbread dressing, okay? I don't really eat stuffing. I like real cornbread dressing. And so I'll be making it the old fashioned yet simple way. So I have myself here a disposable foil pan, some cornbread stuffing mix from the Piggly Wiggly, we got our chicken broth. We got a box of Jiffy corn muffin mix. One can of cream of mushroom soup. I got to have my jellied cranberry on the side of some dressing. And then just some simple seasonings. I got some Lori seasoning salt, some poultry seasoning, some sage, some black pepper, and some garlic powder. I'm gonna also dice up um, a little bit of celery and a little bit of onion to go into my mixture and of course top this in the oven with some heavy duty aluminum foil. Now the only thing missing and I think it's because it's seasonal was I could not find any chicken gizzards. Those of course are optional. Not everybody has them in their dressing but I'm accustomed to them being in the dressing. But we're going to see what um, we can go on and do. We're going to make it do what it do. So, yeah, you guys stay tuned so that you can see how this girl throws together some cornbread dressing for a side dish for your holiday festivities. So, as I was saying, it's still October, so I opted for a side dish for the purpose of this uh challenge because I didn't want to make a whole turkey or a ham or a whole big pan of baked macaroni something like that so I'm going with the old school dressing now notice I said dressing and not stuffing because people believe it or not there is a difference okay now for our supplies go I have a disposable aluminum pan to make for easy cleanup I picked up a box of cornbread stuffing from the Piggly Wiggly. I also have some chicken broth. I got a box of Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix, a can of cream of mushrooms, and you got to have your jellied cranberry sauce on the side of your cornbread dressing. Now for seasonings, I'm keeping it simple. I got some Lowry seasoning salt. I got a little bit of poultry seasoning, some sage, some black pepper, and some garlic powder. And then, of course, I like to have a little bit of vegetable in there. So I got some celery and a sweet yellow Vidalia onion that I'm going to chop up into my mix. So I want to thank you guys for taking a moment to click on this video and support the challenge. This challenge will be with myself, Geo. Miss Beverly Black, Be Amazing Sylvia, and Marlene of Living Your Best Life. And again, I am your girl, Pandy of Pandy's Hair Candy and more. So once again, you all, if you enjoyed this video and you really enjoy this type of content, please go ahead and subscribe. It is free 99 after all. For the most part, this channel is a hair channel, both natural hair as well as wigs. However, there is an and more on the end of the name. So let's keep this thing rolling, baby. Let me go ahead and begin with my prep work and I'll be back to check in with you momentarily. All right, guys, as you can see, I chopped just a fine amount of celery and onions. Since it is only us two here, I'm just going to be making a small batch for the purposes of this challenge. I've got my cream of mushroom ready, my seasonings, along with my cornbread stuffing mix, my Jiffy corn muffin mix, and my broth. And of course, I have a large mixing bowl and an old school whisk. 
I will not be mixing this with my electric beater. I will be doing this by hand. I don't want it to lose its texture. I still want it to be kind of chunky from the vegetables and things. So let's get this thing mixed. All right, so now that I have my ingredients all in the bowl, I'm going to proceed with getting everything mixed to my desired liking, and I will then bake in the oven. All right, so just like that, guys, it is a super simple dressing mix. All you have to do is take your ingredients, mix together in a large mixing bowl, Add your egg so that it can hold together and mix it well enough but not too fine so that your vegetables and seasonings and spices are still somewhat textured. Next step, in the oven it goes. We're going to bake it. While it's baking, I'm going to have some dinner. See you in a minute. guys not bad if I don't say so myself not bad for a quick I say all in all prep time cook time to finish I would say it's been about 45 minutes mm -hmm. mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. And just like that, guys, it's done. So there you have it. Simple, easy, under one hour side dish. Great for your holiday festivities cornbread dressing complete with jelly cranberry sauce on the side once again guys i am pandy of pandy's hair candy and more and this has been a team build collaboration thanks for watching
too much to ask I'll place forever in your arms And for this moment to 